what's up guys i uh had not got to videos on these yet um so uh here is one of two videos this is um one of my steel pilot dials well it's not a steel pilot dial it is one of my torched dials but uh pilot dial three so this one was torched so you've got some cool iridescent look into it there just slightly so you've got some of that green and some of that blue uh uh, does it hit blue? It kind of hits blue. It's more purple. So there's a better look at it right there. So you got your purple pink kind of at the top. And then the rest of it just kind of has that oily kind of look to it. Um, but this build is in um, all bead blasted. So you've got your bead blasted case, your bead blasted coin bezel, uh, bead blasted crown, and buckle. So um, silver uh, ranger handset on this one. Low profile exhibition case back, stainless steel movement holder in there, and a silver rotor. And then this is on one of my Italian aviator straps. A little bit uh, longer. Um, <clears throat> with these, uh, if you've got a bigger wrist, perfect. Because this, you know, let me focus this up a little bit higher. You know, for a normal wrist probably in the mix of there so it's got a decent overlap but if you have a larger wrist no big deal we'll accommodate so uh italian leather strap this is the uh ammo pouch uh design with uh off-white stitching on here looks very brown but it's actually off-white it just kind of how it looks so star engraved crown uh, silver uh, five dot insert and on these ones your loom is just at your your uh, points on there and that is this build so if this is going to you congrats this is a very cool looking build with a little bit of a kick of color there with that dial So that it turned out pretty awesome. Automatic mechanical. You can wind it. You can wear it. You can put it in a watch winder. But if it's dead or you're not very active, make sure you wind it a little bit. So if you're driving or something like that, how you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. At that point, you can wind. And a wind is a turn that way. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything. But instead of doing this action, which you can, if you get good at it where you're not starting to thread it back on, because I kind of pull back just slightly as I do it. I typically just do a back and forth. So I'm rubbing my finger against it, keeping that distance from threading it back on. If you start to thread it back on, all you got to do is just back it right back off if you're, especially going back and forth. So if you do this for five to 10 seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, you're going to keep time throughout the day. Actually, it's four to five seconds worth. If you do it for something closer to 20 seconds, you're going to max out that 31 hour power reserve on it. You can't overwind it, so don't worry about that. You'll never have tension. You can wind it all day. Pull it to the one end only click. And you can now set your time. It does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going. Okay, Google, what time is it? 2.27 p.m. 2.27 p.m. Push it over. Screw that down. And you are good to go. As with every bow, they're going to come with matching beads entirely up to you. How cool you are, whether you wear them or not. This will come in a, in a BBW brown box. This will come with watch cleaner. This is good on all glass and metal parts, so everything here in the center, non-toxic, non-streaking, non-residue. You also have some weather conditioner. This is good to keep this leather strap perfectly soft. Apply it on the front and back, let it soak in, remove any excess. Um, use it sparingly. A little bit will go a long way. And then lastly, some fine scratch remover. This is Novus 2 from Amazon, just repackaged. You've got an acrylic glass here, and you can scratch it, but if you do, no big deal. Put a tiny bit of this on there and buff against it using your included microfiber. So if your scratch is up and down, go left and right, fill in that scratch, and then just buff it out, and you should knock it out in about 20 seconds. If you have it, let it solidify and go back and add more. Just put it right over that scratch, fill that scratch in and uh and buff it out so that is the build if it's going to you thank you so much for your support i hope you love it 
It's uh, supposed to be dressed down a little bit with a little classy and then just a little bit of kick of collar. So it's going to you. Thank you for your support. And uh, we'll be in an upcoming waffle uh, again, hopefully this weekend, if I'm back in town by then. Um, and that's it. If you want me to build you something custom and unique, reach out and I'll see what I can do. And if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.